Good day grade 11s, welcome to this last lesson on Euclidean geometry this week. In this lesson I decided that it would be best if we did some mixed examples that brings everything that we've learned together. So let's get started. The first question says find A and B giving reasons. Find A and B given reasons. So we have this circle, we've got O, Q and P which is a tangent to the circle at Q. We have little angle a here and little angle B there and you can see that SR is parallel to OQ. So the first thing I want you to point want to point out is that using the theorem that we just learnt, the tan chord theorem, we can see that this angle here is between the tangent and the chord QR and that QR subtends the angle S. Therefore we can say that A is equal to that angle of 33 degrees. So we can say A is equal to 33 degrees and why and it's so easy we just write the tan chord theorem. Right now let's look for B. Now it told us that this line here is parallel to this line here. So therefore we can see that using our maths is fun that there is an N on its side over here and therefore we can see that B is also 33 degrees and why? B equals 33 degrees, why? Because it's an alternate angle and it's got that OP is parallel to SR. Right, let's look at our next example. So what are we given? We are given that BC is a tangent to the circle at C. They tell us that CF, CF, if I could find F, there it is, CF is parallel to AB, oh it's already filled in, and EF, EF is equal to AD, so only this bit is equal to that bit there. Right. Just one thing I want to point out to you guys because I've had students that didn't understand this. This here is basically saying that this angle is called C1 and this is saying that this is E1 and that's E2. That doesn't mean that those angles are equal in size at all. It's just labeling. It's a labeling term. So I don't want you to get confused with that. Okay, so now they're saying, let me just get back to a color. If BCD BCD is X. If BCD is X, write down three other angles also equal to X with reason. So the minute that I hear that this is a tangent, I start looking for tan chord theorems. And I see that X is between the tangent and this chord, yeah, which is DC. And the chord DC makes an angle up here at A is subtends, so therefore I would say that that is X. So immediately I'm going to say, hey guys, I know that angle D A C equals X. Why? Because of the tan chord theorem. Here we go with the first one. Now I'm looking at this, I'm saying, oh look, but they told us that this line and this line are parallel. So therefore I've got this beautiful little alternate angle going on here. So therefore I can say, okay fine, well that then is definitely X as well. So now I know that that is X. So therefore I can say that angle, well we can just call it C1. C1 is XY. It's an alternate angle. Why? Because DA is parallel to C. F. All right. So now we've got that that is X and that is X. And let's see what else we've got. Do we have any subtending? Okay, now if we go back to yeah, we can see that X is being subtended by DC. Can we look and see if DC is subtending any other angles at the circumference? And if we look carefully, we go back down here, we can see that DC is subtending E. Therefore, we can say that this here, E1, is also equal to X. So E1, oops, sorry, 
e1 is also equal to x. Why? Because equal angle subtended by equal arc or chord. In this case, it happens to be. So there we've got three angles now that we have proven are basically equal to x with reasons. Let's look at our next reason. So now they've said, let's, if ECF, let's change color, let's change color, if ECF equals Y, if ECF equals Y, give a reason why ACD would equal Y, A, C, D, R. Now, if you look very carefully, you can see that they told us that this line is equal to this line. And the rule goes that an angle that is subtended by either an equal arc or an equal chord are equal. Therefore, we can say that angle ACD equals Y because equal, equal angle subtended, subtended by equal chords. So therefore, this little angle is Y as well. So we're given that BD is a tangent to the circle with center O, center O and BO being perpendicular to AD, being perpendicular to AD. So they ask us to prove that CFOE is a cyclic quad. CFOE is a cyclic quad. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. They're talking about C F O. E. CFOE is a cyclic quad. So what do we know about cyclic quads? We know that cyclic quads have two things going for them. The one is that the opposite angles are supplementary. And the second is that the exterior angle equals the inter opposite angle. So let's try for the first one first of all, because we've got that in your CFOE, in CFOE, we have that angle FOE, FOE equals 90 degrees. Why? Because it's given. Okay. But if you look carefully, you can see that AEC is a triangle. And since AE is the diameter because it goes to the center of the circle, that means that this is 90 degrees. Why? Because it's angle in a semicircle. Therefore, we've got also got we've got A C E is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Angle in a semicircle. Therefore, we know that C F O E is a cyclic quad. And why? Because quad. Why? Because opposite angles are supplementary because 90 plus 90 equals 180. Awesome. So we've just proven that. Let's see what else we have to prove. Now they've asked us to prove that FB is equal to BC. They want us to prove, let's change colors, that FB, FB is equal to BC, BC. Okay, so in order to prove that FB equals BC, what do we have to do? We really need to prove that this angle equals that angle there. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's let this angle be X. Okay, so we're going to let angle BCF, BCF, equal x. And yes, grade 11, so they don't give you angles like in letters like A, B, C's and things. You can just let things be x to help you solve them. Then do you agree that using the tan chord theorem, if this is my tangent and that's my chord, you can see that that chord is subtending angle E. Therefore, we can see that angle, therefore angle O, E, C equals X, right? Why? Because of the tan chord theorem. Okay. 
Then we know that, what do we know about cyclic quads? We've just proven that FOEC is a cyclic quad. And F is the exterior angle to the interior opposite angle E. Therefore, angle F, which is going to be B, FC in fact, is equal to XY. Exterior angle equals int opposite angle. So therefore, that's X. And therefore, we have that FB is parallel, I mean, is equal to BC. There we go. So that's equal to that. Right. Let's see what else they want us to prove. Now they want us to prove that angle AOC, now let's change color. Oh, wrong one. Um, green. They want us to prove that AOC is twice BFC, BFC. So in other words, they want us to prove that that whole angle is 2x. We've got that BFC is equal to x, and they want us to prove that this whole angle is 2x. Right, now let's think about that. That there is the angle at the center of the circle, and that there is subtended by AC, which then in turn subtends angle E. So therefore I can say, well, AOC is equal to two times angle AEC, AEC. Why? Because angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. Therefore, we can say that AOC is equal to two times the angle they wanted, BFC. BFC. See how you can kill these little birds just by looking a little bit. Right, grade 11s, that is enough for today. Please go make sure you get lots and lots of practice and then go do the questions at the end of the assessment. Have a good day.